Today we're looking at scatter diagrams, which is part of our statistics topic. What we are learning today is how to construct a scatter diagram and draw its line of best fit, and understand the idea of correlation and state whether a scatter diagram represents positive, negative, or no correlation. Our keywords are scatter graph, line of best fit, construct, coordinate, plot, correlation, and estimate. A scatter diagram is used to plot two sets of data to see whether there is a connection or relationship between the two. Graphs should include a title, labelled axes, and be drawn with a ruler and pencil. Ten year eight students sit a test in two subjects, maths and art. The tests are marked and the presented results are recorded in the table. Does there appear to be any link between the art and math scores for each student? It isn't very easy to tell. We shall draw a scatter diagram to see if there is a link. We construct a scatter graph by plotting the coordinates onto our graph. Each pair of scores is a coordinate. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we do the same with the y-axis, going from 0 to 100 in steps of 10, using every other line for our numbers, so that we have even scales on both of our axes, 90 and 100. We need to remember to label our axes. We label our x-axis maths, and we label our y-axis with art. And then we need to give our scatter graph a title, and we're going to call it Test Scores Year 8. The first coordinate we're going to plot is at 1587. So we go 15 across and then 87 up. And we try and plot accurately as possible. Our second coordinate is 3567. Our third coordinate is 95.20. Our fourth coordinate is 46.42. Our next coordinate is 78.29. So we go across 78 and up 29. And then the next coordinate is 5 across and 98 up. 29.60, then 75.45, then 62.52, and our final coordinate is 20.76. So is there a link between the maths and art scores? A line of best fit should be drawn in pencil with a ruler and should be drawn through the middle of the points and it's used to estimate. Note the line of best fit does not have to go through the origin, does not have to go through any of the points, should have approximately the same number of points on either side and cannot be drawn on a graph with no correlation. So can we draw one straight line which shows the general direction of the crosses we plotted? If so, then there is a link, correlation, and if not, then the results are random and not linked, uncorrelated. So we get a ruler and we draw a line through the centre of our coordinates, making sure that we have an even number of crosses above and below our line. And this is our line of best fit. And we can use this to estimate. A line of best fit must go through the origin. A line of best fit is a straight line. A line of best fit needs to be drawn with a ruler. Correlation. This is the relationship between the axes. 
there are three types of correlation. There is positive correlation. And this is when both sets of data increase. There is negative correlation. And this is when one set of data increases as the other decreases. And there's no correlation, which is when there's just some random points and there's no relationship between them. So an example of positive correlation would be, as the weather gets warmer, the sales of ice cream increase. An example of negative correlation would be, as the weather gets warmer, the sales of scarves goes down. And no correlation would be the height of a person having no relationship with their exam marks. Going back to our test scores for year 8, because there is a line of best fit, it means that there is a correlation. What do you notice about students with high math scores? What do you notice about students with high art scores? The better you do in one subject, the less well you may do in the other. As one result goes up, the other goes down. We call this negative correlation. So we have a negative correlation between the results for maths and art. The height and hand length of 10 boys in year 8 were measured. The results are displayed in a scatter diagram. To decide whether there's correlation, we try and draw a line of best fit on the graph. Again, we're going to use a ruler and draw this through the centre of the points. We want to describe the correlation between the heights and hand lengths. What link, if any, can you see? The link is, the bigger your hand length, the bigger your height will be. In other words, as one set of data gets bigger, so does the other. This is a positive correlation. Our next scatter graph shows the weights of 10 children which were measured and plotted against the number of hours they watched TV in a day. We want to try and draw a line of best fit on the graph to see if there's a correlation. But as you can see, these points are just random. There is no line of best fit. The crosses have no direction, so there's no link, and we say that there is no correlation. A key use for scatter graphs is for estimating. We use the line of best fit to estimate. We draw our estimation lines onto the graph using a ruler and a pencil. So we're going to use our test scores year eight scatter graph to answer these questions. Number one, what art score would someone with a math score of 70 be likely to get? And number two, what math score would someone with an art score of 50 be likely to get? So returning to our test scores year eight scatter graph, the first question asked us, what is the likely score for somebody that scored 70 in maths to get in art? So we want to draw a line from 70 in maths up to our line of best fit. And we're going to do this with a ruler and a pencil. Now we're going to draw a perpendicular line to the line we've just drawn up to the line of best fit from our line of best fit to our y-axis and we can then read off the likely score which will be 40 marks 40 percent question two asked us to find out what is the likely math score with an art score of 50 so we're going to do the opposite this time we're going to go up the y-axis to 50 to find the art score of 50 and draw a line with a pencil and ruler from 50 into our line of best fit. We're then going to draw a perpendicular line down to the x-axis. Now you can see that the line comes in between 50 and 60 and so our answer is going to be 55 marks, 55. Remember, when drawing a scatter graph, include a title, label your axes, draw with a ruler and pencil, Plot your points accurately, and if there's correlation, draw a line of best fit so that you can use it for estimating. Good luck.